Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to be assembling a Burlington hopper car. Okay, so let's open up the box and make sure we got all the parts inside. Put the lid off to the side. So inside the box you should have a body. Off the side, there should be the under frame. There should be a, a small bag of parts. And there should be two weights. Now we have already gone ahead and painted these weights. Also inside there will be instructions. Now on the instructions there are no notes or anything like that, just basically a parts diagram. So we will put that off to the side. Put the bottom of the box off to the side. So we got our underframe, our weights, our body, and a small bag of parts. So we open up the bag of parts, dump those into the lid. In our small bag of parts, there should be two sets of wheels. There will be a couple of horn and hook couplers, which we will not use. There will be a brake wheel. There should be two long screws and one short screw. There will be two coupler box clips and then there should be four doors for the bottom and then one detail part. So that'll be all of our parts. So what we need to do is go through and inspect our parts. Well, we don't need some of the stuff, we'll put it back into the box for now. Okay, so mainly these parts here the doors and the under frame here, we are going to want to make sure that we go through and check for any flashing. Now it's very common that there will be flashing on the sides here, so we want to trim that off. There will be possibly flashing in here, so we want to trim this flashing off in here and make sure that it's clean on all of these places here. Okay, now on here, there might be a little bit of flashing on here. Take and trim the flashing off of there. Okay, I'm gonna make sure there's no flashing on this side here. Or on this side, a bit of flashing there, we'll trim that off. Okay, and then on our gates here, you wanna check in here, make sure there's no flashing on these. Um, obviously this guy here, he's got a pretty big piece of flashing on there. We're going to trim that off and you want to go through all of them and make sure that these are nice and clean. There's no flashing on any of the sides there like that. Okay. And you are going to want to take the body and test them and make sure that they fit into the slots here. And you want to make sure that they're going to fit in there. Take each one, make sure each one is going to fit and that nothing is going to hold it up. Because when you put this together, you're really going to want to make sure that um, they all fit really nicely. So now also on the body, there will be this little piece here. You want to make sure that that piece is a molding sprue. You want to make sure that that's not sticking up too far and that the body is going to sit down all the way and that's not going to interfere. See on ours, that is actually interfering a little bit. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you trim this down. It's a little tricky because it's, it's in there so far. So once you have that trimmed down, you're gonna wanna just double check and make sure that the body is gonna sit down all the way in there, which looks much better there now. Okay, next we are going to be installing number five KD couplers. So to go ahead and we can start to do that now. We can stick our KD spring in there and then we're gonna put a little bit of dry graphite in there just to, for lubrication. And then we can stick our hook in there. Now it might be a little tricky. It's not gonna stay in there. You might have to hold it while you stick the clip over top of it. Okay, go ahead and stick the clip on, clip it on, make sure the hook is free and make sure that the clip is clipped on all the way. Very important, give it a little bit of a squeeze there just to make sure that the clip is indeed clipped on all the way. And then we can do the same with the other side. 
stick your KD spring in there. And we're going to use our KD dry graphite. There's a little bit in there like that. And then we will put our hook in. Go ahead and put our hook in and we put the clip on over top. Clip it down. Give it a little squeeze to make sure that it is clipped on all the way. There we go. Make sure the hook is free. Very nice. And then we're going to have to put our little doors on. Slide in like that. Two go in one direction. Clip it over there like that. Make sure that they're seated and we can flip it around. And two go in this way. One in here. Like that. And you'll notice that on the back side there's a little post here. And that little post, it sits on that post to hold it in the closed position. Flip it over and you just want to check and make sure that it's seated in all of the grooves on each side. And that there's nothing holding it up or anything like that. So now that that's all on, we can go ahead and we can stick our detail part on. Now with this detail part, you're going to have to be very careful when you stick it in. Hopefully we don't need to put any glue on it. And it should go in there snugly, but you want to be very careful to make sure that on this side it doesn't stick up past the uh, bottom here of the, the uh, hole that it sits in because these actually have a known issue for the wheels when you stick the wheels on that they will actually touch and rub against the the part there so we are actually going to end up putting a washer in here because of this known fact Okay, so we are going to be sticking a gray KD washer on here on each side because we know that the wheels are going to end up touching over here on this part. So we're going to have to space them out a little bit. All right, so we're going to stick the washers on there, but now we can go ahead and we can stick this into the body. All right, so we want to stick our brake wheel on the body. Make sure that there's no flashing on the brake wheel. Clean all the flashing off the brake wheel. All right, and then we can go ahead and we can stick our brake wheel in the body. Hopefully it won't need any glue. Yeah, that looks pretty solid. It's gonna stick in there and stay in there pretty solid. Okay, that's good. So that's really all we have to do with the body. Um, we're gonna flip this over. All right, so after you put your brake wheel in the body, we're gonna have the two weights. And we're gonna sit the weights in there, one on that side. And we are gonna put one on this side. Okay, so, oh, and you have to make sure that the weight is gonna sit down in there properly. This one is not. Okay, you wanna make sure the weight is gonna sit down. There we go, on both sides. There we go. So once you got them both down, we can go ahead and we can stick our frame in. And then when you want to go to stick your frame in, you want to make sure that all these pieces here sit down into the groove on all these little doors. So you might have to push it in. Make sure they all sit in there nice and flush and everything is seated down properly. Okay, so once you got that done, we can go ahead and stick our washers on. Then we can go ahead and we can put our wheels on, one on each side, and we take our long screw for the wheel. These have a tendency to strip, so you want to make sure that you don't do them down too tightly. All right, you want to make sure that the wheels still have movement. And then the final screw, the little tiny screw, goes in the middle. And this screw here is very small and doesn't grip a whole lot. There's only a few threads that it grips, so you just want to do it down snugly, not too tight because it's very easy to strip. And there you go. Our Burlington quad hopper is all assembled. So now we take and put it on the track and check our coupler height. So our gray KD washers were not thick enough. So we're going to remove the gray KD washer and we're going to install a red KD washer, which a red KD washer is a little bit thicker than the gray one. Go ahead and stick that on there like that. Same with this side on there like that. And then we can go ahead and stick our wheels back on and retest it. Same with this side. Okay, make sure your wheels are free. And we can stick it back on to our track to test it. We are going to have to bend our hooks a little bit. So we're just going to take and 
bend our hook ever so slightly. And same with the other side. And then we'll back on the track to test it again. So as you can see here, the hooks are lined up pretty nicely. The trip pin is not touching the little plate on the bottom. And uh, overall, it looks pretty decent. I'm gonna leave it like that. And the wheels are not touching the detail or the underframe, and uh, it's rolling nice and freely, which is really good. So that really looks good right there. So there's our quad hopper all assembled. Now, we just gotta go try it out on the layout. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 